Just don't think about it, Jordan. Don't think about it. Don't think about afternoon you guys it's jordan on my channel it's just jordan and i'm doing my skincare to start the day we love a good chapstick or lip balm or whatever like literally y'all i have an addiction to lip balm for i want to say at least like maybe the last five six seven eight years there has not been a day that I've went without putting on lip balm. But what's up y'all? What y'all been on? I know in the last video I started off with talking to y'all about my lack of productivity. And honestly, I feel like I've been doing at least a smidge better since then. Ooh, sorry. When you put that toner on, it just feels real good. Yes, I'm putting it on with my hands today. Sometimes I use a cotton pad, but today... I just wanted to use my hands. My productivity has been doing a smidge better, which according to the book that I showed you guys, you know, I'm reading Atomic Habits. It did say that, you know, as long as it gets a small, tiny bit better. But I would say it's not even because like I've been following the book and I've been like, oh, you know, making my habits better. It's mostly just been because my energy has just been a little bit more up to like do stuff. So, as soon as we can combine energy and um good habits you know your girl is gonna be in there but how have y'all been we're transitioning i feel like into spring right now i think i looked it up and spring is really not gonna hit until like i want to say end of march i'm about to put this super thick cream on my face because it's not that cold outside but yeah we are transitioning into spring in a little bit and i just want to give you guys a heads up now you can probably hear it in my voice. I know my voice is a little deep anyway. It's getting deeper because I am so sick. Also feel bad for talking about how sick I am all the time because I know y'all are probably like, this girl is a hypochondriac. Like she is addicted to talking about and addicted to being sick. And you know what, I may be, but that's just how I've always been in my family. Like I was just always the first person to get sick and it's not very fun. So right now, I'm just dealing with a major cough and I'm just giving you guys a heads up because if you hear like an unnatural like <coughs> <coughs> dang I didn't talk it up I didn't talk it up oh god <coughs> please please anyway speaking of the devil if you hear an unnatural break in my words or you see like a lot of chops or something like that it's because I so rudely coughed in your face, okay? Um, and I'm just trying to avoid putting that in there. I know people like authenticity, but let's let's be honest, you don't wanna see authenticity in the form of me coughing every five seconds. So, I'ma, uh, you know, spare you that and crop it out. Okay, I think the skin, the skin is skinning. She's together now. Um, but yeah, I just wanna give you guys that little bit of warning before we get into this week's vlog. But I think this week's vlog is honestly just going to be really fun. I just have a lot of new stuff in um, that I've been saving to show you guys. And then I also am going through that little period <laughs> where I want to switch around things in my apartment. So I've also been ordering stuff to like kind of just, I don't know, boost the mood. Whenever spring comes in, I like to make transitions a little bit when it comes to my decor. And so we're just going to do like little small, tiny things. But I just feel like the smallest changes can like just boost your mood. Sometimes you just don't want to see the same thing all the time. Even if it's like 
your home decor so there's just small things you can get to i mean although it's like a temporary happiness which you know is not the best thing but it makes me happy so i do it especially with living alone like i need those little things to like boost my mood so i just do it Alright, so I'm getting ready to go get my medicine. I also have to pick up a couple of other things that are just on my little grocery list or whatever. Not really grocery, it's not even grocery. As you can see, some time has gone by. Pretty much I just got dressed earlier because I wanted to be able to film my TikTok in natural light. But I still have some stuff to do like before heading out. So I just kind of went ahead and did all of that. Whew. Y'all, when I say my throat is just going through some things, but it's okay. We're about to fix that. Um, I had called my mom for advice, um, but she told me to go and pick up some Zyrtec because I'm having like some sneezing. My throat is closing up. My nose is running, but I'm also wondering if it's because I just moved my bed, you guys know, over here. And y'all know my super obnoxious air conditioner that likes to blow like, ain't don't nobody live here. Um... I want to say it's super dusty, so I'm wondering if me going to sleep every night is, like, allowing all that dust to, like, come straight to my head. Because, like, my bed is right here and the air conditioner is right here. So, I'm going to have to get around to, like, cleaning it with a damp cloth because that could be adding to the equation. Um, no, 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 not the equation. Adding to the problem. So, we need to fix the equation. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just made that a math term. I'm sorry. Um... I'm not even good at math. Why did I do that? Actually, I wouldn't say I'm not good at math. It's like I'm just normal at math. So I first showed my mom this outfit and she told me I looked kind of funny. And so I'm just going to assume that it's a banger. Like anytime she tells me something looks funny, other people like it and I like it. So I'm just going to assume that it's cute. Alright, so I'm in here trying to find pillows. Lucky me, Costa Luna's having like a buy one get one half off. And I think I want to do the firm because I'm going to show you all the pillows, but pretty much I'm not going to lay on them at all, but they are like a full size pillow. So I need them like as filled as possible because I don't want them to flatten, even though I'm not going to really lay on them. Let's see. Let's see. Catch y'all in the pillows. I wonder if y'all can hear me. The life of a content creator. It's really how it be. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Y'all gotta understand, this camera is sitting on a pillow. I be looking like I'm talking to the walls. I'm watching you, camera. Let's see. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. This is firm. Is this full size? Get out! Get out of well, I feel like the pillow should be longer. I don't know. Four. All right, I think we're gonna go with these. They're like a, what are they? Standard queen. Extra, not extra firm, they're just regular firm, but hopefully these are big enough. I am back. This is my one bag of grocery that I got. Also, the two pillows that obviously will not fit in there. Why did I spend $80? I, I'm not even going to get started talking about this economy, but oh my gosh. I swear to you, every time I go to the grocery store, I mean, Target's not a grocery store, but any type of store with like, you know, that I go to for like essentials, <clears throat> $80 every time. Now this time we can blame the pillows. They made up $50 worth of it because you know how I said that they were buy one, get one half off. 
I get up to the register and they're not even ringing up as that. And I was like, okay, well, just to let you know, y'all still have that sticker on there that says the stickers on all the pillows saying buy one, get one half off. But it's not ringing up as that. Target, you, <laughs> Target, you're, you're, you're pressing some buttons here. I'm, I'm normally like team Target, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And then the rest of this, I guess, made up $30, which still, I'm still trying to figure out how we got to $30. This little bag of stuff, $30. I cannot. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was not on my list, but I needed a uh, spray with some type of like cleaning ability, like Clorox. Um, so I picked this up. I also like that it had like an orange lemon scent. So I'm probably gonna try that tonight on my kitchen counters. Mm, that's how I know I'm just old. Like things like that when I see things like that it gets me excited this was like I don't even remember that was a receipt that's not too bad it was $10.89 for 12 little capsules let me tell you I didn't find this until later originally the only ones I could find had like 40 in them and it was like a $30 pack and I was just like I really gotta pay $30 to like <clears throat> get rid of my whatever I got going on these i told you guys before if you've never tried these and you like like twizzlers licorice these is where it's at i love those i get them every time i go to target i picked up a couple more olipops because i'm trying to try all of them um before i make my final decision because i mean i don't like all soda so why would i like all olipops and then i also got a caesar salad because i love a caesar salad but that's everything but let me show you guys the pillowcases that i got for these pillows because they're way too cute i want to say i ordered these in like december or something but they came in two separate packages i'm not really sure why but i'm just now opening them but y'all know i was at home for a month so heads up these are very provocative so if you have sensitive eyes cover them it's a human body so not a big deal to me but i know some people get a little they get a little testy they get a little testy look here's a hint okay so um let's see hold on a second i'm confused why do i have two packages i only bought these once didn't i oh, i didn't order these twice what's in the other package what is in this package did this girl send this to me twice if she did, my boyfriend's gonna be so excited because he was gonna buy some. <laughs> Anyways, I was wondering, I thought she put one pillowcase in each package. But this is too, okay, anyway. I'm just trying to add more pieces to our apartment that are just more fun, more artsy, more me. This is actually a woman Asian owned brand. So you know, we get to support a woman of color today. Love that. Yeah, this is the top, ooh, look at me look at me okay i'm way too childish for this pillowcase um but yeah titties <laughs> we got the titties going um i'm probably not gonna put them on the pillows till tomorrow because i want to change out my whole bed set you guys know that i had a white duvet set on before this i want to put that on there i just don't want to do it tonight because i really want to film a tiktok for it but while we're here we're gonna make sure that this is not another order because i'm confused sticker she's cute let's see so what's in here lowered it's the same thing i'm so confused i guess i have two of these now in june that they think the police Ooh. need to hear all right so they Dinner sent time. them a tape recording of the call. Sorry, I'm listening to my podcasts. I've been having this really bad, but also really enticing habit of eating dinner in my bed. I don't know if it's a bad thing because I know people say like, oh, don't work in your bed. But I've really been enjoying eating in my bed. But you guys say y'all like seeing what I eat. So this is what I'm eating. Um, it's basically chicken Parmesan right here. It's got like the little crunchy panko bread on top. Um, we've got some roasted 
carrots. They're kind of like fries a little bit. Like, hold on, let me show you. Like this. And then we have some couscous. We're just gonna squeeze some lemon on it because I love a good lemon taste. And we're gonna pair it. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic right now. We're gonna pair it with some paranormal investigations on YouTube. Back in my paranormal investigations binging era, I just sometimes get in the mood to binge it and so that's what I'm gonna do tonight while I eat my dinner. afternoon y'all i'm getting ready because not getting ready but i'm just putting on clothes because i just have a few things to do around my apartment but it involves like content so i'm trying to look like decent enough i was gonna go to the gym and i was actually gonna go go to the gym like to planet fitness because i wanted to go pick up some grocery but i looked at my planner today and i realized that there's something i have to submit for a brand and i was like i don't think going and dilly dallying at a public hold on a second why is this oh it's not through here anyways i didn't feel like going to a public gym today was in my best interest so i just went ahead and decided to stay here obviously because i gotta get my work done this string is blowing me i don't even know what to do i'm probably gonna just have to pull it out that's really annoying because i don't know how to get it through here where is it even at that's too far down that is too far. Mm -mm. No. Nope. But yeah, I just have to finish a few things like um, arranging my closet and getting the stuff out that corner that's been there long overdue. But it has to be done because I want to make uh, content for TikTok around me um, resetting my bed. Like I'm changing everything out. As you guys saw, like my new pillowcases are the inspiration behind that. Um... So yeah, of course your girl want to look kind of cute. So I'm going to put on a little Ed Hardy two-piece. You know what it is. Um, I feel like my pants drew up a little bit. Maybe I'm not wearing them low-rise enough. Or, <laughs> this is the theme of the whole month for all of my videos. Or I'm getting thick. I don't know. I feel like this body about to be sturdy for the summer. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and get into arranging everything that I got to get together for the day. Oh, I'm so mad. My motivation is in the toilet. Do you see how dark it is in here? It's raining outside. It's been raining ever since this morning. I even call myself, like you can't even see me. Hold on. Come on. I even call myself waking up at 8 a.m. today. 8 a.m. I normally wake up at 9. 8 a.m. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get a jump on my day. I'm, I'm about to be knocking everything out because I'm waking up an hour earlier. Not with this rain. I mean, it's still a good thing that I woke up at 8. Because if I had a woke up at my normal time, I'd be even more behind schedule right now. Like, uh, uh, uh. I swear, like, I'm just no good with rainy days. Like, I just want to be a housewife so that when it rains, I can, like, just sleep all day. Okay? But, uh... I gotta work. No, I'm grateful for my job, honestly. But y'all get what I mean. I don't have to explain myself to you. You guys know. Y'all know. Whew, I don't even know where to start. My brain is just fogged right now. Like all the fog that's outside. Cause it's like, if you're gonna be like this, at least snow. Like, I don't know if y'all realized in my last vlog, obviously you can tell like I'm happy as hell when it's snowing. Cause I'm not used to that junk. And Chicago hasn't even been giving snow. Like the least you could do is give snow if you're gonna look like this. So I think I'm gonna start with putting my boxes behind some of these shoes um, to kind of give it like a little background like you guys saw me do before. I have some new purse displays that I wanna put in my shelf so I can hang like my mini bags and make them look better and have a way for them to be on the shelf. I really need some motivation. Hey Google. Play Ice Spice. <laughs> she gonna get you right every time. This is my motivation. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this shit was all I knew. You and me only. I did it. 
all for you. Still you are lonely. We could have worked it out. 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 Alright, so I'm going to have to move this, I think, because I really want to keep my shoes on the sides like this. Because um, I actually like how that looks. So, the only problem, I have two little inserts that I need to put in there. Don't mind what my sunglasses look like. I'm going to fix them. Um, I just need to make sure it fits. I hope they both fit. I'm scared. Please fit. And then all my jewelry is in this one. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. Hold on. It works. I wish I kept the boot inserts for these brown boots back here because they are really killing me right now. Forget it. I was about to say something else. Um, yeah. <laughs> In the topic of conversation, it's a celebration. Let's toast to the fact that I moved out my mama basement to a condo downtown because it's all about location. I sit and drink wine and watch Californication of life. You should have been here to kick it with me. We could have split this whole thing up 50 50. But now I'm at the 40 40 getting bitches tipsy. Killing shit that ever so talented, Mr. Ripley. How I go from being a man that you argue with to me and Dwayne Carter putting out the hardest shit. I should want to go back to the one I started with. But I'm addicted to this life, it's gonna be hard to quit. Yeah. Just ask me how things are coming along You could tell me that you never heard none of my songs Long as you end up saying one day you plan to listen Cause what's a star when it's most this important fan is missing all I knew, you and me only. I have lunch So I got super hungry Normally I make my lunch But as y'all could see, I was busy, I've been busy Um I didn't feel like doing that today. So I figured I'd order Uber Eats. I really hate and love ordering Uber Eats for obvious reasons. Like number one, convenient. Number two, unnecessarily expensive. So, let me show y'all what I get. This is my sandwich. I'm gonna open it in a second. They put a baguette in here. They always do that. I never eat them. I got a brownie. I only got all of this because I was trying to use my little coupon that they sent me which i'm surprised worked because they be playing is this correct hold on hold on i don't know because i was playing with my shopping cart but wait a second wait a minute what did i get hold on did y'all forget something excuse me y'all Oh, it's down there. It's down there. I was sure about to complain. I was about to complain. Okay. Because last time they forgot my brownie. And so I had to, like, report, like, it's not in here. So they gave me, like, $5 back because that's about how much it was. I thought they had forgotten my chicken noodle soup, but it was, like, way at the bottom. And I got the smallest one this time just because I was trying to meet the quota for the coupon. They sent some chips. I've been eating the sandwich since high school. Non-stop. Oh, it's so pretty. It's an avocado BLT. Look at it. The bacon, the avocado. So good. Mm. Y'all, all this time that it has not been snowing. Hold on. This is a terrible position. All this time that it has not been snowing, it wants to snow today while I have to go out. I can't even get the camera right. Like, look at this. Y'all probably can't see it. Y'all see that? That's snow. That is snow. Are you kidding me? All I have on is like this little crop top and this leather jacket. What is, what is a faux leather jacket going to do for me? 
anyways i'm headed to go get my friend uh kennedy and then we're headed to this place called tribe supper club um they're basically hosting like a patron dinner there tonight so that's where we're going sorry i'm having like a really hard time concentrating because siri is screaming in my ear right now <laughs> wow snow that is that's so convenient i love that for me the, on the plus side though i didn't wear like legitimate heels or anything i have on like um square toe boots so at least that's comfortable but it's the it's the fact that i have no gloves no scarf for me out here uh that Gosh. Oh my gosh. It's pretty though, but I'm not happy about it being in my head. No, I'm not happy. Look at the ground. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> out here with Kennedy. We almost died outside. We literally almost died. Moved to Chicago, they say. <laughs> like, why is it covered in snow right now? Why is it a blizzard? I don't like this. And my head is all wet. No, seriously. Kennedy has me going to another place, y'all. We are going out. We are outside. <laughs> we just left our second place. Number one, tribe. We went to tribe, okay? Guys, I had a stalker. <laughs> like a full not the tea. stalker, like he saw me out. Like did he not? That wasn't a tribe though. Yeah, that was at the second place. He did though. <laughs> that I, I was about to say something. I was I was wait, were you gonna say this? <laughs> that little pop smoke looking man. <laughs> I'm screaming guys like I was never gonna make it out of there alive like I tried to hide and everything it did not work he was coming to find her yeah. that was not gonna happen she was not getting out of there no. I don't even know why I thought I don't know why you thought that either second place of the night but we're leaving Soho House and we're going to the we're barber we're going to Lime Barber there we go she really got me out here y'all we are outside this is like the Chicago mood every time yes two or three places minimum is the camera close? Is, are my eyes focused? <laughs> that part. Y'all, look what she's got in this bag. I'm telling. Okay. She literally would not leave this at my house to save her life. Like, she's going around nightclub to nightclub with this huge water bottle. It's a bottle. great conversation starter. Can you believe it? <laughs> Let's Thank see you. if we can get it into the next club. Thank you. Nope. I'm stuck. I'm gonna try. Okay, Let's I don't know if we're gonna get in, but I will, I will try to talk. We're gonna try and get my bottle into the next Thank club. <laughs> Baddie gon' grow what she like So what's your sign cause I like you Got a place we can stay for the night But I'm too shy to invite you You got a gangsta vibe And I want a gangsta boo One of a dangerous kind I'm tryna see how a gangsta move You never worry about no exes On my body I'm the bestest Dancing on my necklace Bitch stay mad just like the rest is On four of my drip was the same Hit up any when I need a team What is up y'all? I am recovering from last night and not so much like because i was like super lit or anything but because i was out really really late y'all be proud of me i went to four different locations that's a new record for me four i'm used to anytime i go out in chicago it being like two or three but four four is a new high for me for sure this is my little get back into it breakfast but it's like lunchtime I'm having honey nut Cheerios. I have some peaches, one slice of bacon because that's all the bacon I have thawed out. Um, and then coffee, of course, because I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get my energy back. Honestly, I woke up today with like one eye closed because it was like, you guys know I'm sick. It was like literally, I'm sorry, this is gross. It was like crusty up, so I was literally like. <laughs> And that was just, I feel like that explains everything about last night. But yeah, luckily though, I told, I don't know if I told y'all, but I was like club hopping with this like little canister. And every time I go somewhere, I'd fill it with water. And so I did take shots and mix, and I had mixed drinks, but 
I drank so much water that like I was really good. I was just surprised at how well my body was handling it. You will never guess who we were with last night. So of course I couldn't record or anything cause like that's freaking weird. Um, <clears throat> but pretty much after we went to the first two places, uh, I went, I ended up going with my friend to go hang out with some of her friends and y'all, it was like a really super low key thing, but y'all, we were hanging out with Keelani. Like we were literally hanging out in the section with like her friends and stuff. Of course I didn't record because like people want their privacy and stuff like that. I'm not, and I'm just not one of those people anyways, like to just be like, Oh my god, be with in the section with them and like recording them. Like I have to really be in a setting where celebrities are, like where they're like walking a carpet or at a concert or something. I'm not really about to just be like, look, it's so and so. Like I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't want people to do that to me, so I didn't do that. But y'all, I didn't even notice it was her. Like I knew she was gonna be there, but I didn't even notice that it was her in the same very section that I'm in because she's so small. She was tiny, like. Baby girl is thick, but she's tiny, you know? But she was honestly like just so cute. And I think she's older than me, but she was cute and she was like really sweet. So that was pretty cool. It's just funny, like I feel like all the nights where I end up like out super late and like just hopping around, something crazy just always happens like that, to be honest. So that was another one of those nights. But as y'all know me, I won't be going out for another two weekends now. I have to recover. Like another friend literally texted me this morning was like, are you down to go out tonight? And I'm like, mm-mm, nope, nope. Y'all won't see me again until next month outside. That four, four places in one night, that was enough for until next month. I'll see y'all next month. And Kennedy already said it. They, they're gonna try to kill me this summer. They're gonna try and kill me. Last summer was pretty legendary. It was my first like few months here. It was my first summer here, but this summer, I just know they about to go crazy. They are about to go crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to do all the hibernating I can do because I know once summer hits, they not letting me stay inside, y'all. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, I have some things to show y'all. I'm super, super excited. Ooh, is my camera foggy? Or is that just the light? I don't know. But y'all, I have some stuff to unbox because I've been saving it. I've actually unboxed some of them already. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, let me show y'all the pants I wore last night. Hold on, hold on. I guess we'll start with those since they're already open. But let me show you what I have so far right now to show y'all. This is the little pile. As you can see, some of it's unboxed because I'm impatient. I love showing y'all stuff, but I also love unboxing things, obviously, because it gives you like a little high. It's not good. It's not a good high. This is a very bad habit of mine, but I definitely get like a little rush opening stuff. Also, I've got my box cutter. Yo. Yeah. Right, so these pants that I wore last night, I actually kept the tag on them when I was trying them on because I wanted to make sure I liked them because I hadn't tried them on yet. But I ended up leaving the tag on there, but I guess that's good because now y'all can like see where it's from and all that. Um, but these pants right here, I literally wore these last night. They're like cargos, but they're not like the normal cargo material. They're like a waterproof material, which really came in handy, I must say, with the random snowstorm that we low-key had. Um, they remind me of something I feel like Yeezy would make, but they're actually by the, um, I don't know how to say their name, TLZ. TLZL Fem or Feme, however people say that. Um, but this is the tag right there. But it's a black owned business, y'all. Y'all, the creator of this brand be really going off. Like, you guys probably are already familiar with that brand. But um, yeah, these are the cargos that I picked up from them. Like, right after they dropped them, I was like, I have to have these. The only thing I have to say though, <sighs> you guys know I'm like not the thickest in the room honestly even besides that i really feel like the build of the pants it may just be how the designer wanted them to look like very exaggerated which i get like maybe they wanted them to be like more high fashion but they are very impractical for like regular little outings with your friends unless you were just the extra person in the room i was able to kind of fix it by layering it with a leather jacket but the jury is honestly still out on me just going out with just a crop top on with these pants because they got bbl hips I'm gonna have to give you guys a collective haul soon of things I've just bought recently. Sorry, I'm getting hot, so I'm coughing. Um, 
so y'all can look at me and my little grandma bra yeah but yeah i'm gonna have to give y'all a collective haul so i can actually try everything on and you can see how it fits and my full reviews on stuff but yeah that's the only disappointment i kept like i guess you could pin the hips like the hip part to like not make it so exaggerated but besides that the pants are definitely giving like very high fashion but that was a little disappointing it's like i mean i know the bbl girls gotta have something too but dang like <laughs> unless you just have mega hips like i mean even if you're thick like you may not still be able to wear these pants and it not look crazy you have to have like crazy hips to fill it out more and that's why i say it's like kind of giving more bbl type of look because it's super exaggerated on the side so i was a little upset about that this next piece is from house of sunny um this is like i think my second time ordering something from them now i will say i have beef with them as well now look i will tell you though they fixed it but i have beef with them because this item that i bought i only bought it because there was another item you know when you buy something and they didn't snatch the money right out of your account like immediately then they give you an email telling you that one of those things is out of stock like you didn't know that when i bought it like you were unaware like i need everybody to work on that how are we selling things we ain't got so i was like if i'm gonna be paying for shipping i want to make it worth my while and so i ordered something else so anyways the way they fixed this so i'm not mad at them anymore was i basically told them like i ordered this whole thing like because i wanted that thing that y'all said is no longer available i only got that because i was getting um the little bodysuit and so pretty much they took the shipping off for me and just went ahead and sent the corset so i appreciate them for that for sure so hopefully this is cute um it is cute hopefully it fits right so this is the corset it's like a canvas corset and you guys know i love like my fashion and clothing articles to be art in a way and i feel like this is art it reminds me of kind of more like a renaissance corset because of like the material of it I just feel like the colors are really really pretty like it just says um take a trip in the front 115 not sure why but it's a pretty corset and i just knew that corsets are something i wear a lot of and crop tops i wear a lot of so i was like if i'm gonna buy something else it's gonna be something i know i'll wear and i'll know i know i'm gonna wear this a lot all right um let's see this so i've already opened this i'm actually wearing it right now but I still have them in the package and I'll tell you why so I ordered from K skin because I was looking for a new sunscreen to wear and I normally use the Fenty Beauty sunscreen which I really really like but I feel like it runs out so fast but I love the glow that it leaves so I was like I need to try another sunscreen that offers the same glow and maybe is like a little bit cheaper and I think this is like a little bit cheaper but in this case it was much cheaper because they were doing like a buy one get one of the full size um sunscreen box this is what it looks like and k skin is just like a brand by uh winnie harlow you guys know the model and i like her and i always like to support you know i love to support women-owned businesses and you know i definitely love to support black-owned women businesses women of color all of that okay do you see this right now i'm wearing nothing but the sunscreen like i feel like you can see more in the mirror I feel like this light's not really giving but i will tell you right now like my skin is really glowing so i also ordered her um lip balm spf in Ira irie rose so we're gonna try that as well i just got it because i love a lip balm and i love like a tinted one so that's the only reason i got it that's on k skin i have some other skincare that i really need to unbox and show y'all but i think i'm gonna wait until like i reorganize my skincare because I feel like I have a lot more than I realize because there's a lot of skincare I have that brands have sent that I have not unboxed. So I feel like I need to do a whole little just day of organizing it. You know those people that have like a room full? It's not to that point whatsoever, but it like probably could fill up my little moving cart. That's why I really need to take a look at it and organize it. What is this? Oh, okay. So this item right here, I actually forgot I had it and I've shown you guys this before because your girl accidentally bought two and i'm not excited about it because it was not cheap and i'm also not excited about it because i can't return it so i have i'm not gonna unwrap it all the way <clears throat> but i have this other belladonna planner that i showed you guys at the beginning of the year that i bought i love this planner okay but the problem is it's 2023 i can't use it next year and i already have another one because i accidentally bought two 
even though after I figured that out, I tried to cancel it, they would not cancel it. So I say this to say, if I have like a college student or something, somebody who really like uses planners and will put a planner to good use, if you would like this planner, let me know. I can send it to you. I know that we are almost in March. So you may have a planner, but if you just bought like some little cheap one or something, you want a nicer one, this one's really nice. And I'm willing, I'll just send it to you. But um, just DM me on Instagram. Obviously, I, I only have one. So like if I've already, you know, gotten the first person's info to send it to, that's just done. So if I don't respond to you, like just understand I don't hate you or anything that somebody else just claimed it. Okay. <laughs> somebody that can genuinely like use it and will need it, let me know. So that's why I said like a college student. Or something I know I use planners a lot or like an entrepreneur like me like I have to have that to keep my life going you know all right we're getting personal we're getting personal cuz I bought from Urban Outfitters I bought some draws okay um the reason for my random shopping spree of underwear I have underwear okay obviously um but I was watching this video on Instagram and I love the the girls who be putting people on. She was giving like hygiene tips and you know I, I think I got the basics down but one thing she pointed out was cotton underwear are just going to be superior and it makes sense. I thought about how many cotton underwear I have which is not a lot and I thought about how they make me feel and whenever I wear cotton underwear they just are so much more comfortable down there if girls girls you know what I'm talking about like things just happen better down there as far as like cleanliness and comfortability and you know lack of yeast infections because it's comfortable you know so she inspired me to go and pick up some underwear um, one of my favorite places to buy them from is Urban Outfitters because they just have such good deals on them I'm embarrassed to say y'all I do still have some Victoria's Secret underwear so my plan is to put these in and take those few ones that I have left out because they don't be doing my coochie no favors okay now of course Victoria's Secret has cotton underwear I'm sure but for some reason when I was buying them from there I was not getting those so I picked up these it's just like some black thong cotton underwear um I have the I guess I might as well just go ahead and unpackage them because I want to wash them. These little like pink ones, some white ones, these like some orangish, brownish. Also picked up these. I hope they fit. Just the thin strap, the white versions. Went on there and I still did buy some underwear that were not 100% cotton because how cute are these? How cute are these? They're gray. I just felt like they were so me. And then they got the little embroider on the back. And they say hottie. I picked these up because they were really cute. I was like, look at the little ruffles. And y'all better not big a lot of me. If y'all see me in underwear more than once, I'm gonna just go ahead and clear that up now. I do wear my underwear more than once. Ooh, these are cute, y'all. Y'all are gonna like these. It just has like the thicker stitching on it, so I had to get me a pair. Let's see. I hope they fit, but these are cute, are they not? This is what they look like. This is what the back looks like. I bought these because I had bought some vintage um, True Religion jeans and I was so obsessed with them and I wear them so much and I may or may not be able to still wear them because we know I picked up a few pounds. Um, but these should definitely fit and they're so cute but these are new. I'll link everything down below by the way. Okay, what's in these? What's up in here? Ooh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. I feel like somebody else tried to get up in here. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And y'all, my side table came in. So when I decorate it, I might put this on it. I don't know. How cute is this Louis Vuitton? Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh, this is the heaviest book I've ever had in my life. I'm trying to hold it up. Gosh. I've got his other Nike icons book but it is not nearly this heavy goodness i guess he did the louis vuitton one and they were like we gotta go luxury on this one it's giving quality because this thing is heavy like look at my wrist she's struggling okay but this is the louis vuitton virgil um new book that they came out with obviously like it has the designs in it and stuff and just art concepts for it but 
super pretty I have another version with the cover um with the hot air balloon on it you guys know from the one where they were celebrating virgil and they basically had like the lv hot air balloon so that one is an option too but i just liked how fun this one was and the multicolor on it i just felt like i could do more with it so cute oh my god i don't know if this is going to be in stock anymore because i know they were disappearing like crazy for obvious reasons you know r.i.p virgil um but i'll put it down below <laughs> I actually wish everybody would send their packages in those little bags. These cardboard things, I hate opening them. Okay, so I'm thinking ahead for summer and spring, obviously. Um, we have a rooftop pool, and I'd like to be at it a lot this summer. So I've already started ordering my bikini, and Sammy Miro Vintage was having like a little sale, and their stuff, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That junk is expensive. It's so high, but it's so, so cute. And so I was really excited, because I was like, ooh, a sell like i've always wanted to support the brand but the prices on some of that stuff i'll just be like mm, 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 i don't know about that but i ordered this bikini from them it's like a nylon bikini so it's breathable i'm not gonna lie to you already the the, the tits on this is questionable Ooh, that's gonna be pushing it i'm gonna have to try this on and see how it works out but the design on it is actually really pretty like the details on it is nice i will say that but dang my boobs little, but I don't, I don't know if they this little. Like, look at the ends of them, though. Like, it's the details for me. I don't know if you can see, but, like, the little tassels on this are actually engraved. Like, you can just tell, like, attention to detail was paid on this bathing suit. And that's what I like. I like that it's a basic bathing suit, because just like my underwear, I do, like, more basic bathing suits. But I like that it has, like, a little extra something to make it not so basic. Ooh, I see. I'm going to have to be... Never mind. <laughs> Look, if you know, you know. If you're looking at this shape, you know what I, where I'm going with this. Um, this is the butt part. We're going to see how that goes. I'm going to have to wear a cover up. She's cute, though. She's mad cute. I'm going to try this on tonight. Probably not in front of y'all because I'm not in the best situation right now to show y'all. Um, but yeah, she's mad cute. The quality is nice, too. It's just tiny. She's tiny. Goodness gracious, okay. For some reason I've grown very fond of showing y'all the mess that I make when I make content and this is what we got right now. This is what she's looking like. Uh, this is the part that I hate. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the girls that I grew beside. All the niggas around me, right or they die. Gotta watch the time cause it's fine right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, DT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, who am I, all the niggas around me, right at it die. I'm just here to let y'all know that I timed this, obviously, with recording how long my outfit took to get on, because, you know, I did like a, I don't know if I'm gonna do a time lapse or chop the video up, but the video ended up being 15 minutes, so it took... 15 minutes just to put these clothes on but I was filming a TikTok while I was doing it so I guess that really tells you more so it takes about 15 minutes to put the clothes on and film a TikTok and that's without planning the outfit. I'm ready to go out with a friend not out out um but we're going to like some little artsy event that is happening downtown like on Michigan Avenue so you guys already know I'm always there for an artsy event um, I would love to go and find an actual piece of art um, for my future apartment. I wouldn't hang it up now, but I don't know if they're going to have it like that because I'm not going to lie. I saw their stories and it didn't look like they had a lot of easels, or not easels, but canvases sitting out. Um, but I do really want to start investing in art. But I know that stuff is super expensive, but my friend Bree, who y'all are going to see today, she has quite a few pieces because she's already started her collection. If you guys don't know Bree, fun fact she is the first friend i ever 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 made in chicago like when i came to just visit chicago had no idea i was gonna move here she basically like hit me up on tiktok we became friends with tiktok y'all and we had brunch through there and ever since then like i just really really like her She's really the only person that i knew when i moved here so yeah i'm gonna go link up with my girl what time is it Oh my gosh, it's all already almost two. But we're gonna get ready to go. I just wanted to show you guys like me quickly getting ready so you can see my OOTD. And I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun Sunday, y'all. 
Like I, I normally don't go anywhere on Sunday, so like this is different for me, but the weather is kind of nice. It's 44 degrees, so your girl is excited. Okay, so I'm trying to debate. Hold on, y'all are really close. That didn't really help. Um, I'm trying to debate if I should be a grown up or not and take this day quill, but it's so nasty. I honestly think it's nastier than regular day quill. It's got to be. It's like, you know when something's supposed to be sweet and they try to make it taste good? I feel like you might as well just give up. Like, just let it be. Cause when you try to make something not good, try to taste good, it's even worse. I took the NyQuil last night of this. And uh, mind you, I have a liquid one, not cause I'm a baby, but apparently liquids just, you know, they kind of work better than the peel version, um, which I will say also it soothes my throat. But man, I tried the Honey Day Quill, um, no, Honey Night Quill, and now I'm about to take the Honey Day Quill, and I was scared. It was nasty. It was thick, y'all. Like, I, here's, y'all are gonna laugh at me. I'm, I was literally sitting in my apartment last night by myself, by my little lonesome. I poured up basically in my cup my 30 milliliters of um, Night Quill. And I literally said, <laughs> I like cheers myself, tapped the table and took it like a shot. And it was still gross. I did that to like, I kind of tried to play a mind game with myself to like get the medicine down and be like, you know, Jordan is like a shot, just take the shot. Y'all, I literally took like three gulps of, it was sitting in my mouth and I was like, mm -hmm. let's go. I had a pee. I'm too old to be bending down trying to hold it, but I do. I'm scared, y'all, please. I need like a Coke to wash this down. I got half of mine to be very childish right now and not, y'all, okay. I feel like this is the only thing that's about to wash this down. We're gonna wash this down with champagne. Just don't think about it, Jordan. Don't think about it. Don't think about I wish I was a child so I could do half of this. I feel like I need to pour this in a glass to drink it faster. Y'all, it's that bad. I'm not exaggerating. Like, I would rather take a shot. Literally, the shots I took the other night, I'd rather take those. This is a whole new low for me. Washing down liquid medicine with champagne. I cannot. Cheers. Oh man, sorry, I'm remembering how it tasted last night. It's... <sighs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I don't blame children. I don't blame children for not wanting to take this. This is really bad. I feel like I'm gonna choke. Dayquil is only half as nasty as Nyquil. It was better, I'm not gonna lie. Still not great, but way, way better, way better. what is up y'all i am back home sweet home it's only like 8 30 now but i had to make a little pit stop to handle something the place that we went to um for that like art market like with people just selling different stuff it was way way busier than i thought it would be i've been to one of their events before and there were a lot of people there but i don't think there were that many people there the first time i went 
I already knew that I wasn't really gonna record in there for real because like it's just hard to focus like my mind just don't work like that but I thought about at least recording for like TikTok but honestly it would have been impossible because there were like people in front of everything it was like one of those I mean and I'm not complaining I'm just stating like the facts it was like one of those situations where you gotta like wait a lot for people to like move on or if you're trying to get somewhere like say excuse me it, it was just like doing a lot so it would have just been too much to try and make a little tiktok i think i have blisters right now they they were hurting i'm so glad i did not walk there so it was just a lot of like waiting and like excuse me excuse me and that's not a problem except for one time y'all there was this one girl we gave her a second we gave her a second first of all here's my thing she's sitting so there's there's a rack right here and two racks right here kind of like a little box but unfinished with the front part you can walk into She's standing in the box area with two of her friends looking at some little bedazzle purse. I don't know if it was from that section or what. The point is, me and Bree were trying to look at the rack right behind her that she's standing in front of that has nothing to do with purses. So wherever she got that purse from, she can go step in that area and talk about it. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty patient person, I must say. I didn't used to be, but I really trained myself to be a more patient person. Like, I don't, I don't be doing what I used to be doing, y'all. Y'all, <laughs> and I'm always polite. Like, maybe a few years ago, if, I, if, you, if somebody tells you, Jordan popped off of me, I probably did. But today, if somebody says that, just know it, they did something to me <laughs> if I popped off on them. Anyways, but I will be loud and clear because I need you to hear me. Like, you gonna move. So we just waited like a few seconds. Like, you know, we were just like... You know being patient or whatever we understand there's other people here so we're gonna wait so she's talking to her three friends now here's the thing me being human myself i got peripheral vision i know when, if i'm talking to somebody like this and somebody's standing right here i can see what they doing because i have peripheral so that means this girl had peripheral as well right did she not so she sees us there patiently waiting still going on and on about the little sequin bag I was just like, excuse me, you know, normal. Tell me why, first of all, homegirl like a foot, two feet shorter than me. Tell me why she gonna look, look. It, it wasn't even a look at me. It was more like a look up at me. <laughs> she told my son, girl, if you don't get your little behind over there, like, girl, ain't nobody playing with you, move. But y'all, yeah, she was acting real stank, and it wasn't even just over there. My friend said that we were at another booth that apparently... She was modeling for I guess homegirl thought she was just hot stuff because she was modeling for that little boutique. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Sis had an attitude for sure though because I thought it was just me. I didn't even mention it. But later me and my friend were talking and she and she mentioned it. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that girl did have an attitude, didn't she? I thought so. Okay, okay. So I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Cause sometimes, you know, you know, when it's directed at you, you may see it as worse than it actually is. So having a second opinion, somebody who was standing behind me, if she got that same feeling, something's telling me you being rude. If if my friend also thought you were rude and we didn't even discuss it till way later, you were being rude. But yeah, that was just crazy. We actually dealt with a few people today that the attitudes were stank. I don't know what was going on with people's <coughs> mentality today, but it wasn't giving. If you're somebody who does that, please stop. Like... <laughs> There's just no reason like you you using it takes more energy to have like a stank attitude than it does to just be chill. I would prefer her be just dismissive and just move like keep talking and not pay me any attention and just slide over, you know? But that little that little face like uh, like uh, how how dare she talk to me? Baby girl, who are you? Please let me know who are you. <laughs> let me know cuz the only person I'm about to trip over is jesus himself all right but we're gonna end my rant there because i definitely just went in clearly they blew me today okay y'all look my phone matches the background that's so cute okay i need to clean it's sunday i can't go into tomorrow with a dirty space so i need to do some cleaning
hear my salmon like sizzling on the pan. But I just finished cooking, getting ready to eat. We're gonna use my favorite bowls. These bowls, my favorite thing for like salad and like things that are mixed up like this today is kind of like a mixture of couscous, zucchini, tomato, and then the salmon on top. So I just like these cause they're like, they're a bowl, but they're open and like kind of flat. So I have like lots of room to, you know, compared to like this bowl right here. Like I used to hate, what am I dropping? Eating things like this out of this bowl because it was just hard to get everything. So 10, 10 recommend this. All right, come closer. So it's still cooking. All right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of this. I'm so weak at this fish. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna save the rest for, I was gonna say tomorrow, I won't be here tomorrow. So I'll save the rest for the day after tomorrow because your girl loves some leftovers. This is the salmon. You can see the Italian seasoning on the top making it look burnt. It's not burnt. The seasoning's a little burnt, but I mean, what do you expect? It was literally face flat on the pan. This is what we got. That looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. All right, so I have finished eating. I finished packing. I just got out the shower, took an everything shower, everything but steam. So that was probably the most miserable shaving shower I've ever participated in because it was like kind of cold. I actually have to wake up in, I think like four or five hours. Um, I have to wake up, wake up at 4 a.m. and it's almost 12 a.m. So pretty much I'm about to go take a nap so I can hit the road and drive to Indianapolis. I feel like this vlog was very, I don't know, kind of busy. I don't know, maybe that was just in my own head, but I know this past week I was just really busy. Whew. But I'm ready to go catch that sleep real quick i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not i'm gonna start a new vlog i don't know if i just want to chill and go through my work day or if i want to add a little bit of work i don't know well, i don't know sometimes i feel bad because i feel like i always be keeping y'all cooped up in the apartment but sometimes when i go out and about i just want to be out and about and that's really why i guess i do that i go places it's just that sometimes i just want to be in the moment Oh y'all, I took some NyQuil too. I only took half a dose and it's, I think it's hitting. All right, now I'm getting ready to go paint my toes or at least paint overlay over what I have because I was informed today, today that my toes had to be done. They look fine, but you know, they kind of grow down a little bit. So I just got a matching color to do a quick job to paint over because I didn't have time to go to a nail salon today. Um, yeah, it's, it's a day y'all. This is... I'm just praying that I can wake up looking good enough for a shoot and it also sucks because like probably lack of sleep is not going to help the fact that I'm coughing and whatnot. So y'all pray for me. I'm getting ready to head out, go catch my little nap. Um, I may or may not see y'all tomorrow, but make sure that y'all take time to go down below and hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. And of course, I will see y'all next week. I'm sorry I'm saying bye to y'all my bonnet. Hold on, let me, I'll let y'all see some edges. Nah, that forehead is big. <laughs> I'm saying bye to my bonnet because I'm going to sleep. But alright. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.